Let us, Jesse. It's Christmas again today, too. So, well, I'm just going to have to tell you about some sore loser women again. I, mean, I don't know what the hell's wrong with these, these women. They need to give this stuff up. So, a couple of real women won the Connecticut High School Championships. 17-year-old Terry Miller, trans woman, of Bloomfield High School finished first in the 55-meter dash at 7.10 seconds, or 7.01 seconds, which was a state indoor record, and 17-year-old Andrea Yearwood, who was a junior at Cromwell High School, finished second at 7.23 seconds. So down, Connecticut is one of 17 states that has the transgender policy. Here's one of the sore loser girls, mothers. These girls worked hard only to be cheated because science deniers allowed two boys to steal what they worked for. I can't believe she said that. Then down here you have Sid Ziegler, who is the author of Fair Play, how LGBT, oh, she, she didn't put the Q in there for some reason, athletes are claiming that their rightful place in sports because this is discouraging. So this is what this thing said. I'm really tired of hearing about unfair advantages. The way our entire society is designed, transgender people have inherent disadvantages everywhere they turn. They want to call these advantages unfair as though as if you're a cisgender person that any advantage that you might have over someone else are fair. But any advantages that a transgender athlete might possibly have are deemed unfair. Why is that? It's highly unlikely that Connecticut will change its policy and move backwards on its transgender inclusion efforts. This country, or the country is a patchwork of transgender sports policies at different levels in different states. Connecticut happens to be a very open policy while Texas has a very closed policy where you must comp compete as a gender on your birth certificate. Whew, that would make no sense. Transgender athletes, and particularly transgender girls, face so much resistance and discrimination within sports as well as the rest of society. We can't just assume that these athletes are winning because they're transgender. Oh, no. No, hell no, we couldn't. It's possible that they're just beating them. It's possible that they, they'd be beating these other students, athletes, if they were cisgender. Yeah, okay. So they were getting four students actually tried to file a lawsuit. And the court found the lawsuit to be moot and ruled that the girls who brought the suit lacked standing to sue. Wait, really? That's pretty pathetic, but here's the, the reality of it, women. You just need to accept it. Your, your days are done. You can't handle sports. You're just not strong enough. These new women are just showing you, since there's no difference between men and women, remember, I don't know why you have to keep thinking that there are. These women are just, they train harder, they eat a lot more, that's what keeps them bigger, and you guys are just lazy. That's just all there is to it. Just accept it. Your days of sports are over. We've taken over swimming. Um, Shit. What's this called? Running. I think there's a uh, MMA or something. One I thought I saw. Well, it's just it's it's just time to accept it. You're just not cut out to be athletes. You guys are too lazy. You don't want to put the time in. And these butch women do. So I I can only think of one specific thing that needs to be done, and that's pretty much ban cisgender women from sports period because the new women are actually putting the effort into it and you're not so whenever you decide to maybe stop playing on your phone and put some more effort into running and working out like these other ones you might get somewhere but I doubt it because you're still going to lose to these ones because they're just better not because of their chromosomes or their sex or they train harder. And that's just it. So 
accept the fact that you're just a loser and you're never going to amount to anything in sports. So give it up. Try something else. Try knitting. You might be able to hold that one on your own, maybe. Until a trans knitter comes in and <laughs> takes care of that, too. But sports is done, so it's, it's time for a national ban of cis women in sports. I mean, it's, it, it needed to come eventually. You guys are just getting out of hand. You can't accept the fact that you're weak and you don't like training, so you just want to bash real women who just came out of the woodwork suddenly and didn't need any extra training. They didn't need these years of being a female in training. They just naturally have the gift to win. So get ready because there's a ban coming and you, you deserve it. You bigoted, lazy, pathetic women that can't handle sports because of the butch women. A woman.